SEO and how it can improve your sales on Amazon. The customer journey on Amazon basically begins with the customer logging into Amazon and typing in a search term or a keyword for the product that they are looking for and then Amazon shows them results. If you are able to identify those exact search terms that customers are using and link them to your product so that Amazon shows your product to customers who are searching for it, then you will get attention and attention will equal to getting more opportunity to sell your products to more customers. And that is search engine optimization. Now, remember, Amazon keeps improving and changing the way that it functions for both customers as well as sellers so that they can improve the experience. That's why optimization is something that you need to keep working on and it's not a one-time thing. Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm the founder of Amazon Sellers Society and Sellers Society. On this channel, we're completely obsessed with Amazon and selling online and focused on the Middle East market. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you never miss a video. We put out a lot of content in both English as well as Arabic. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down SEO and how it can improve your sales on Amazon. And most importantly, make sure that you watch the video till the end so that you know the common mistakes that most Amazon sellers make when it comes to back-end search terms and how you should avoid them. Let's get started with the idea of optimization. Since it's called search engine optimization, it focuses mainly on keywords. So the first step is that you should create a long list of keywords that are related to the product that you need to sell. There are a lot of ways that you can do so. Number one, you could do it completely manually. Just think about the ways that customers might search for your product. If you're selling a chopping board, you might be using chopping board or cutting board. Just think about about it, log into Amazon and test it out. Number two, you can use the Amazon Auto Search Complete, which are the keywords that Amazon actually just shows you when you log in and you type something in the search bar. Those are essential because they can give you relevant data coming from Amazon Direct. Number three, just look at your competitors. Look at your main competitors and the sellers that are doing very well on Amazon and check the keywords that they are using and add them to your list. Number four, you can use a tool. Tools make things a little bit faster instead of doing them manually. You can use a lot of tools. There's an array of tools, but if you are selling on the UAE and KSA market, then the main tool for you to use is Helium 10. Helium 10 has a feature called Cerebro, which I would highly recommend because it actually can help you spy on your competitors. So you can enter all up to 10 ASINs of your main competitors and search the keywords that they are currently ranking for and the keywords that you should be actually focusing on. Now, once you've created this list, now let's get to work. Where are we going to be using these keywords and how are we going to be optimizing your listing using the list that you just created? Number one, Title. Title is very, very important when it comes to SEO optimization because that's one of the main things that people search for or see when they actually log into Amazon. So when customers are searching for a product, they are gonna see your title. The title needs to contain exactly what the product is, some unique selling points of the product, what does it come with if you're selling multiple things in one bundle, and who is the ideal user of that product. Now, step number two, product description and key features. This is where it becomes very interesting because this is a little bit confusing for a lot of people when they create their listing. What's the difference? Well, let's talk about product description first. Product description is the long format paragraph. Most people that actually do read the product description are looking for more information, and that's exactly what you should give them. You should give them a lot of information about the product and in the product description, you can also add things like the manufacturing origin of the product, a few unique twists about the product, but you can also talk about you as a brand. The bullet points, better known as the key feature, well, they need to be fast and they need to be easy to read. They need to be five main key features, use all of them, and make sure that you start your key feature always with a benefit and add the technical feature. Now, remember that you also also need to capitalize the first few words just to make sure the customer can read it easily and make sure that they're not too long. They should be all five bullet points should not exceed a thousand characters. Hold on. Before I continue, three ways that we can serve you at Amazon Sellers Society. First of all, 
you'll be able to join our free masterclass and learn a little bit more about product research. Number two, you can join the Amazon Sellers Society with our Inner Circle membership, where we can support you and help you with launching your very own business on Amazon. And number three, you can work directly with our team so that we can help launch your business and your store on Amazon, UAE, KSA, as well as Turkey. You'll find all of the information and you'll be able to book a consultation call with our team. The links are in the description box of the video. Now, finally, back-end search terms. Those are the search terms that you and Amazon see, but the customers don't see at the front end. Think about them like hashtags, as if they are keywords that uh, you, know, you can add that customers don't really know about, but Amazon can identify. Now, this is where a common mistake happens, is that people and sellers normally use punctuation. You shouldn't use that. You don't need to add commas. You don't need to add lines. You don't need to add anything, just add words. And common mistake number two is sellers tend to fit a lot of keywords in the back end search terms, and you shouldn't add more than 250 characters. 200 would be optimal actually, less than 250. Also, make sure that you don't add the plural as well as the singular of each and every word. Just add the word either singular or plural and that would be enough. Now, guess what? I added some additional videos for you. I'll leave the links in the description box of the video if you want to learn a little bit more about how you can improve your listings on Amazon and boost your sales. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye!